question is, do you know what today is? That's right. It's National Hot Sauce Day. Yes. And what I have right here, guys, please, what I want you to do is smash that like button. And yes, the answer is yes, yes, yes. I did stay up all night and watch all 10 episodes of the Hulu Super Hot series, The Spicy World of Pepper People. Um, I didn't see myself in it. There was no, there. I see myself like here, there, like four or five clips just in the background or somewhere, which is fine. I, I laughed. Uh, but the stuff they filmed, like I did a, a challenge world record that wasn't in it. Um, my friends doing their world records wasn't in it. Anyways, uh, there was me and Johnny burning each other. There was a conversation with me and Johnny. There was a hot sauce tasting with me and K. John, Vic, Klinko, and Troy Primo. That is sort of in there that I'm not in it. I'm there, and you see me for a split second, but then they just caught them with their spoons for a second. So I, I was filmed for um, a, a little bit of it, but it didn't make the cut, and that's okay. Um, I will do a critique review of the series probably tomorrow. I need some rest. Uh, but it's National Hot Sauce Day, and I, this is very exciting, guys. What I have here is six bottles. Not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, but six bottles. Six different prototypes, okay, from Bull City Pepper Company. This is very important to me. That's why I want you to smash that like button. A lot of people will be watching the Hulu series today and tomorrow, so uh, the YouTube views for many of us are going to go, they're going to go down. I did a challenge last night, and the views are down. They're the lowest that I've had in, I don't know, months. Uh, from that challenge and you know it was on a Sunday night and then people were watching this so there was some people that watched live because I went live before the Hulu thing started but uh, all the people that normally watch it in the middle of the night or early in the morning they didn't watch it the views just st they stayed they haven't went up at all so I think I had one person comment in the middle of the night all right so we're going to test all these sauces I am on an empty stomach so I'm not going to go hard in the paint all right so the first one we're going to try is called Fruit Storm, Bull City Pepper Company. So they want my opinion on these, and they're going to, you know, they're going to take what I say and some other folks say and uh, see what sauces they're going to come out with next. So this is Scotch Bonnets, Ahi, Mochero, Peach Ghost, Peach Mamisa, Pineapple, Vinegar, Garlic, Raisins, Salt, and Mango Juice. Wow, that's a lot of peppers in the beginning. But th all their sauces are, are like that. They're all pepper-forward. We'll give it a good shaky shake. So, Fruit Storm. Oh, you hear that pop? Let's see what it looked like. All right, there's the pour. That's a hot one. Ooh. Wow. Whew, it's hot. It's really good. You're getting that kind of mango mixed with the exotic peppers on the back of the throat. Um, wow. It's a hot one, though. Excellent sauce. It's not overly sweet. So I think I could eat this on just about anything. Uh, but it is got sweet enough hints where you know I could eat it on like mahi fish tacos stuff that you would put a sweet sauce on hi, that's sauce one hi baby yeah I'm on a video okay yeah you were just wearing your shorts all right daddy's doing a hot sauce review today's national hot sauce day and these are from Bull City Pepper Company so what these are prototypes you know how Daddy makes sauces that I don't actually come out with right away? Like, I get, like send them out to Johnny Scoville and people, and they test them, and I ask them what they thought of them. That's what this is. And this company was nice enough to send some to Daddy. What's the name of that one? Go-Go Spice. All right. Go-Go Spice, or Choco Spice, however you want to say it. There is a plug in there. But I am usually the master of getting plugs out. We were at Vic Klinko's house this weekend, the world's largest hot sauce collection. And 
I had a couple plugs, plug? and I was able to get them out with my anti-plug skills. See if you... Please tell me that's not glass. It is, but Daddy's hitting it on, on wood, so... So did it, did was it, I successful? I did it. Be See, so? to get a plug out, get out of dodge. That is so good. Wow, I'm gonna read you guys the ingredients on this one, okay? All right, we got Jamaican hot chocolate peppers, seven pot chocolate, vinegar, garlic, black garlic, raisin salt, Szechuan peppercorns, and honey. That's what I'm tasting this. I knew there was something in this, and I, I couldn't put my finger on it. There was something in there that I haven't tasted in a very long time, and it was Szechuan peppercorn. That just completely puts this over the top. Excellent sauce. What's this has that? to be marketed. Well, Szechuan peppercorn is a different type of peppercorn. I, I don't even know if it's considered a true peppercorn or not. But All right, the next one, this is called Ahi Delight. Ahis are, well, ahi just means pepper in Peruvian, Chilean, Spanish, pretty much. But uh, usually they refer to, nowadays, um, some different, there's a plug in this Can one, you too. Some? I will in one minute. Let me finish my review, honey. I got four more sauces to do, and then I'll, I'll stop. Ahi delight. Wow. That one's not sweet. Definitely not a dessert sauce, or anything like that. No, don't do that yet. Let me, let me, we'll do that after, honey. Go in there, go in there and turn the TV on. All right, this is Madame Jeanette, Ahi Margarita, Ahi Guyana, Ahi Charpita, vinegar, garlic, raisin, salt, and mango juice. So this one has less, a little bit less sweet notes and fruity notes from the fruit juice than the other yellow one that I did first, but it's got those natural citrus um, flavors from the uh, the peppers. Uh, it's burning me pretty good. It's oh, by the way, it's not as hot as the first one. This one lit me up. She's like, tell them how much it burns. I know. What was I thinking? I'm Uncle Bull Cow. All right. So next we're gonna try lemon bubble drop. I'm probably going to end up with cramps, man. I'm on a totally different, an empty stomach with, I think I took a one-hour nap. All right, so this is a SRTLS, which is Sarah Rangoon, and I forgot how to say her last name. Um, Trinidad and the L, everyone thinks it stands for long. It's a long scorpion. Bubblegum cross, an LD, I don't know what an LD is, the pepper. So it's a three-way cross, vinegar, garlic, raisin, salt, and honey. All right, it's going to be a freaking scorcher. I can tell you right now. By the way, Alec, it crosses his own peppers. He came out with the Fatal Death Pepper. It's one of the hottest peppers there is. It's a Reaper crossed with a um, Fatale. It's, it's right up there with the Prima Tale. Make sure to, make sure to tell, tell, tell them how, much, how, much, how hot it is. Wow. Freaking amazing. Wow. It's got good heat, real good heat, man. It's a chili head sauce. So Alec crosses some crazy peppers, and he came out with a fatal death. They have a sauce. It's called Death Rides a Bowl. That's what it's made with. It's one of the, if not the hottest hot sauce I've ever had that doesn't have extracts in it. Oh, I'm lit right now. All right, two more. We have Where strawberry. That's like extracts, the crystals, or, or they, like tincture, but it's not as good as tincture. All right. I, I knew it would be something like tincture, I recognized it. It's very interesting. Wow. They're all slamming. So this one's ahi strawberry peppers, vinegar, garlic, raisins, and salt. I knew it didn't taste like strawberries. It's an ahi strawberry pepper. Um, decent heat, really good flavor, savory, phenomenal. I like every one of them. Every sauce Bull City Pepper Company has came out with, I've loved, and um, their their uh, Golden Hurricane sauce they came out with last year, the Fatality sauce, one hot sauce of the year award. I bet the Uncle strawberry Bocow. delight is Verde. the best one. 
second place in the NC Hot Sauce Contest. Rambunctious Red, first place Mild Sauce. Death Rides a Bull, first place Hottest Hot Sauce. So these guys are award winning. All right, so this one is Creamy Fantasy. Ahi White Fantasy Peppers, White Knight. You guys know I love them. I grow them Dad, everywhere. you knocked Vinegar. the hot sauce down. I know, I'm sorry. And uh, the, uh, garlic, raisins, water, and sugar, and sea, sea salt. So the Ahi Fantasy and the White Knight. That's why it has this color. The Pale Horse. Oh, it smells so good. I have a feeling this is going to be my, my favorite. I don't I know I have a feeling, too. I like... Eat sauces that have oranges colors. Wow, it's really good. And creamy fantasy is a good name for it. It tastes creamy, man. I've I don't think I've had any hot sauces before that tasted creamy. Uh, Ahi White Fantasy, the White Knight. Wow. So the Ahi White Fantasy, I've never tried, um, but I have had some other Ahi Fantasies. Ooh, good. There's some, they're, they're sweet. Some, there's some left. I, I wanted to show them this. Oh, my God. She killed this. I got her one of those little the little bottles of Yellow Bird yesterday. It's, it's almost gone. Make sure you keep the bottle. Remember last time she had one of these, and she kept it, and I put her hot sauce that I make for her in it, and she loved it. So if you if you keep that. Then you can put your own hot sauce in it. All right, guys. So real quick, um, I don't want to keep you guys on here long. Please make sure you smash that like button. I want my friends at Bull City Pepper Company to get some recognition. I want people to see what could be up and coming in the future. Um, because they're going to come out with some of these sauces. Maybe they'll come out with all of them. But it costs a lot of money. And, and people just don't understand that. Um it costs a lot of money. Like right now, I am in R&D mode. I'm doing one more sauce. That's it. <coughs> R&D sauce for the year. There will be no more until next, until after Thanksgiving when I'll go back into that mode. I will not be putting a new sauce out until the end of pepper season. When I see what I have for peppers and, and, and how, um, you know, that's going to determine on what sauce. And then, of course, I can go from there. And give my uh, growers uh, more seeds for those peppers for next season. Mm -hmm. So that's that's where I'm at right now. Is 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 I got three sauces out. I'm not rushing it, but I'm always gonna stay R and D. Okay, when I have the time, and that's usually in the winter. I'm not doing anything with peppers themselves from Thanksgiving until next week. Next week I start germinating. You guys stay tuned. I'm gonna do a full video on how to germinate pepper seeds. Guys. How I do it. And also, you guys are going to be able to see what I'm growing for guys, my personal growth. I'm going to get a piece of cheese and pour, pour, uh, and pour, for one, and pour the chipotle on one half and the yellow bird on the other half. All right, well, wait half. one second. I'll get it for you. Uncle Bokai loves you guys. What? 